Hey all, uh, you may or may not be aware, but at the last gun show I was looking for primers and uh, I couldn't find any good ones, so, or at least ones at any price that I was willing to pay, but I did find some Bosnian primers, $95, $90 plus tax for a thousand of them. I have never ever used these primers before, so I'm going to load a hundred of them here and I'm gonna take them to the range and I'm gonna shoot them and make sure they go bang. Now I did some digging around online and I was told that they are harder than normal primers in terms of seating, so that may be an issue for me. And they also told me that they were harder cups, which may make ignition more entertaining. Now, hang on, let me get these things oriented correctly. My guns have stock springs. I have the stock recoil spring, I have the stock striker spring, and the stock trigger spring setup. So, in theory, everything should be pretty reasonable in terms of being able to get these things to ignite if they're not so, so hard that nothing will ignite them. Um, I think I'm gonna either shoot my 19 or my 45 today with them. Haven't decided yet. So I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. Now, the primer filling system I'm using here is this old decrepit Frankfurt Arsenal and the vibratory mechanism inside it died, so I bought this little massage weird sex toy thing from CVS for like 15 bucks, and it suffices to fill my primer tubes. And so we'll try this. Um, and I've sequestered all of my loaded rounds that were loaded with other primers. So everything that ends up in my box over here when loaded is gonna have these primers. I will probably fast forward through the actual loading because uh, boring. But um, 100 of these are gonna end up, oh, sorry about the camera move. And probably going to end up in this box when I'm done, just so they'll look nice and neat and everything. And then I'll go to the range, shoot them, and I'll give you my results later. So on to the load. Like I said, fast forward. Maybe I'll throw some music in there. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. All right, so the initial seating wasn't bad. It, it does take more effort than, say, a Federal to get it seated, but it wasn't out of the ordinary. It wasn't crazy. So I'll take it. Anyways, on for the uh, rest of them. All right, so there's a 99 rounds. Um, one of those primers I had to recover from this piece of brass because I wasn't paying close enough attention and I should have caught that when I first saw it go into the press. My bad. Um, and I crunched one sideways, guys. Look, sometimes stuff happens. I don't think I'm really blaming that on the primers. Um, it just, it is what it is. If I, I sort of felt something weird and I probably should have stopped and investigated and that would have saved that primer, but like I said, it is what it is. So I have 99 rounds. I've sequestered them in this box so that I'll know which ones are which. Now, I don't normally bother putting rounds in a box. I just throw them in a bag, especially for practice. But in this case, this gives me the opportunity to inspect the primers, make sure none of them are sticking above the um, case head, and I don't see any. I think we're okay there. Anytime I'm gonna shoot a match or anything where I care about my ammo, I'm gonna inspect it. For practice stuff, if it goes click and doesn't go bang or fails to feed or whatever, I, I don't care. But obviously, if it's more important, and to give these guys an honest, fair shake, I wanna give them the best opportunity possible. So, we'll close those up, we'll uh, head to the range, and we'll uh, 
Maybe I'll take some footage there, but we'll see what happens next. The loading feed, by the way, or the feel of the primer seat didn't feel much harder really than CCI, CCI Magnums. So it's, it's in the same ballpark. Like I said, more details to come. Okay, so in the interest of not boring you to death or making you watch an inordinately long video, I will just roll in the footage of me shooting those 99 rounds here somewhere. The short of it is, guys, uneventful. Every single one of them went bang. I didn't have any weird consistency issues between um, one primer and the next. Like every single one felt the same to me. I mixed up, I think, the first 40 or 50 rounds. I did slow fire bullseye at 25 yards. Took that opportunity to refine the zero on that pistol. I haven't checked the zero on that pistol in a long time. So if you look at the first few that I show you, if you're looking at those, you'll see that they're impacting a little bit high. I uh, cranked them down a little bit by the last bullseye I shot. I was shooting about a 94, I think, out of 100 at 25 yards, so reasonable. Uh, those were 147 grain heads, and if you're curious about the load, it is 3.6 grains of tight group, which is warm. It's at the top end of that load, but it's a fast powder, so by no means is a recoil excessive. It doesn't feel like a plus P load. Anyway, so I went from the bullseye to some of Dave Spaulding's um, five-yard Foxtrot Oscars, fill in the blanks. And I ran several of those, no issues, everything felt the same. Uh, 99 primer ignitions, no problems. Uh, if it weren't for that one that I crunched in the press itself, pardon me, while I, I tumble all over my words, then I think it would have been perfect, perfect run of 100. And that, like I said, that one, I don't blame on the primer, so I just blame that on me being kind of a ding dong with the press. This press is a little bit old at this point. It is, it's coming up on 20 years old. It's been refurbed once by Dylan. So every now and again, it does some goofy stuff. It's a pretty darn good press though. I think at this point, it's easily cranked out over 300,000 rounds. So uh, I think I've gotten my money's worth out of it. So, but anyways, the long and the short of it is guys, the Bosnian primers, I like them. Uh, if I have the opportunity to buy more at a reasonable price, I certainly will. Given the fact that everything I'm seeing for CCIs is over a hundred right now, when I can find it either online or at the gun shows, uh, this is a reasonable alternative. I don't hate them at all. I'm gonna obviously load the other 900 of them and uh, keep running. I feel like they are reasonably interchangeable with the CCI, CCI Magnums, which I've been using because sometimes that's all I can find. I like Federal Small Pistol Primers. Those things are unobtainium. If you have a worked gun with reduced springs, anything like that, then that's definitely uh, probably your number one primers is Federals, but they're hard to find and typically expensive when you find them. Um, every single one of those rounds, like I mentioned earlier, I shot out of my Glock 19, I decided to just use my concealment gun since I was I didn't want to pack a bunch of stuff so I ran my 19 that 19 has a stock trigger it has that hollow sun on it uh, it was direct milled for an RMR footprint by Ackley's uh, or Moe's guns uh, Joe did an exceptional job with it and it uh, it runs awesome to this day by the way side 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 note i prefer the hollow sun over the rmr but anyways i've digressed enough those primers are awesome i will use them again guys if you have enjoyed this video got anything out of it or enjoy my content please do give me a like subscribe any comments you give i appreciate and if there's questions i will answer them if you hated this video and you made it all the way to now i thank you for watching i uh, will try and do better in the future guys take care stay safe Get him, Jay.